starting off today's vlog in kind of a weird way. Today is the first working day of the new year. Today is Monday, January 4th. I was not excited to come into the office today, but here I am. It's actually 1.13 p.m. right now, and I'm feeling pretty good. I was really tired, but this morning was really busy. Um, I did a few HIV and hepatitis C tests which is really good because I'm trying to reach our goal for the year pretty early on so I'm not stressed later on in the year. Um, I had a few follow-up calls, had to schedule some calls for the rest of the week and for the weekend, which means I'll be working this weekend probably or next weekend. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to be scheduling those things. But I just wanted to come here and talk to you all because I just wanted to point out again, if you haven't had enough reminders from me that you need to do very small things in the middle of your day to break it up things that you enjoy so i took the time to make myself some bush tea it's really good literally the smell of bush tea is just filling this office right now and if you know what bush tea smells like um this is a mixture of lemongrass mint basil probably something else it smells so good in this office today so I just did that and I'm feeling really good. Anyway, I'm just here to say that this is the beginning of a work week in my life. I've never filmed the entire week. But now that Vlogmas is over, I'm definitely going to take some time to actually um, get back to some more like curated videos. Um, I really enjoy the challenge of posting every single day. But um, yeah, we can't do that anymore. But I'm still going to be vlogging every day. So yeah. Ow, my camera is dying. But I have an extra one charging right now. Still sipping on my tea. Different day, same vlog, um, same office. Not for very much longer. Uh, okay, so I have some updates for you guys. Um, you remember, like the first week of Vlogmas, I'll link, the, I'll link the video up here where I was just really happy. I was in such a good mood. I'm finally ready, I think, to tell you guys about why I was so happy. Um, but first, another day, another cup of tea. Mmm, so good. Anyway, yesterday I didn't vlog because it was literally just a day of like, head in the computer, it did not look away for the entire day, it was just work, 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 work. I think I started to film a little bit, but basically I've been doing a lot of testing this week, which is really nice. I've been meeting a lot of my like clients in person, which is also nice to actually meet them and like actually put a face to the names, um, to the people that I've been speaking to over the phone. Okay, so the thing that I'm excited about is that I was offered a promotion. I'm excited and grateful, thankful, because this is my first promotion ever. So, um, basically our programs are expanding and I'm taking on a lot more responsibility and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to grow and to have people above me who will help me to develop the skills that I need to actually be effective in this position. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, I close the door so that we don't have to deal with that glare anymore, although now there's a glare on my glasses. Alright, let's talk. That was my big news. I'll update you guys when I get some more updates. Right now, we're still kind of waiting for like all the approvals and all that stuff, figuring out details. But yeah, I'm excited to get some more responsibility and hopefully grow our programs into something sustainable for years to come. But yeah, I have a lot of work to do today as well. Um, it's just going to be very busy until we get some new people onboarded. So also looking forward to that, to getting some helping hands around here. So I hope this video doesn't seem like I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I kind of am, but I think that's going to be the vibe of my workday videos. Like I'm just going to film the highlights. I don't know if I want to like actually take you along constantly throughout the day because I feel like that might get kind of repetitive to watch. But if I have actual updates for you, then I'll obviously come back and talk to you about them. I've actually been trying to host a clubhouse room these past couple days and that hasn't worked out. So I think I might do that. I don't, I don't think today because I have a meeting. I have two meetings after work. So I think, well, I'm going to be hosting another type of room on clubhouse tonight and that's my second meeting so i think my room that i've been trying to host for the past couple days i might try to host that like later on in the week so if you're not following me on clubhouse and you want to join my rooms go follow me on clubhouse yeah it'll just be really nice to be able to talk to you guys you know 
Clubhouse is definitely a place for that. So, um, yeah, we don't have to, you don't have to just watch me on YouTube. We can actually chat and talk about things. Talk about our lives. Um, this is what I was going to say. So last night, instead of actually hosting that group, because it just didn't work out, um, I ended up learning about stocks. So I haven't filmed my money management video yet and I've talked about it a million times in the vlogs. I'm going to film it, but I think I'm just going to talk about it more casually, like talk about my money habits more casually um, in my videos. That way I don't feel too much pressure to actually have like one solid dedicated video to um, talk about it. So this is a work week in my life, but also a life update video. So yeah, I'm learning stocks. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a background with my experience with stocks. So I think I have some pretty good ones. I've definitely invested and like reinvested in the same stocks um, to kind of build up my portfolio. It's not very large. Um, I, I guess, I mean, I don't really care. So I think I'll just tell you guys. I have about $1,500 in stocks right now. I was using Robinhood. Um, do your own research. But after being in a bunch of different clubhouse rooms, I learned that Robinhood is actually pretty sketchy and then I did my own research and so I'm switching over from Robinhood to another broker and I'm not going to tell you guys yet because I kind of want to learn the platform a little bit more first. Um, I think the difference between Robinhood and other platforms is also that you um, have more tools that you can use on other platforms to make investing a little bit easier You have different indicators that you can use to kind of figure out, you know, what moves you want to make So I'm excited um, Kind of intimidated There's a lot of information to learn. So I spent about two hours last night Just watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and reading up some like strategy like books they were like PD, I don't know how to explain it, but basically I was just been doing a bunch of reading up, a bunch of research on stocks, not just stocks, but also options trading. I'm kind of focusing a little bit more on options trading. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. And that's the update that I have for you guys. If you are good at options, comment down below and let me know uh, how long you've been in it and maybe we can talk a little bit more and you can teach me what you know. We'll set up a little clubhouse. A private clubhouse thing because I can't have a million people coming into well I guess if you if you know to collaborate on this we might be able to get some people in who actually know what they're talking about who can like teach us all how to be better with our finances but yeah anyway that's all I have to say for now and I'll get back to you guys later okay so I decided to pop back on here because we were just talking about money management and I'm trying to make the very adult decision right now to maybe go shopping either today or tomorrow after work instead of going to sushi night tonight because I know that this Saturday I'm going to be going out to eat. I'm disappointed, but you guys are going to know in this video if I actually stick to this or not, but I'm going to try to not eat out, at least like anything fancy, until Saturday. Update, I know a lot of you probably already have this, but one of our grocery stores here is doing, um, you can shop online now, so I'm about to do that and pick up my groceries after work. Okay, we're not going out to eat tonight. I solved my own problem. Convenience, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's worth it to spend that extra money so I don't have to walk around the grocery store today. So, I'm gonna do that. Hey guys, it's another work day. Today I decided that I'm going to bring this oat milk and some uh, frosted flakes some stuff so that i can eat breakfast at the office every day i told you guys yesterday about the promotion that i'm getting so i've been working really hard on actually making sure that i'm at the office on time every day and so i have been so that i'm not like rushing in the morning i think it's just easier for me to bring this stuff and leave it here so I have a supply of food here in the office. This also will work out for like lunch time too. If I get hungry and I don't feel like going out to buy food or um, if I don't have enough time to like prepare food and bring food to work, I'm set. I have cereal. <laughs> I'm back home. I left work early today. Today's Friday. It's the next day. Um, I'm about to try this garden uh, sweet and tangy barbecue wings. 
I'm um, gonna make this but I also wanted to show you guys because I told you that I was ordering groceries and I did do that so I actually got different ones to try out um, I've already had these already the meatballs this is this is my first garden product and that I tried and I love these better than regular meatballs and then I also got this mandarin orange crispy chicken so I'm excited for this one too other than that I got some ground turkey hash browns garlic bread because I really wanted that that's a nice treat got some chopped spinach so I can make some cream spinach one of these days got some a lot a bunch of frozen vegetables because I wait too long and they spoil so I just got the frozen ones so I can just have them there for when I want to make the things got some salmon I got some frozen blueberries because we're gonna make some more blueberry pancakes you guys saw that I tried that new oat milk at work but I also got essential everyday almond milk I mean Adriel likes almond milk so that's why I got it but technically it's bad for the environment maybe I'll talk about that later if I feel like it uh, what else got some tortillas got some sharp cheddar cheese anyways those are the main things that I got and yeah I'm gonna make this chicken now maybe with some rice okay so I just threw them in the air fryer this is the barbecue wings and then it comes with this sauce which they said that you need to put into a bowl of hot water so we're gonna do that I burnt them so they don't look too appetizing right now but the sauce has been sitting over here in this warm water so we'll see what happens And the rice is cooking. So I'm making or attempting to make seasoned rice. Turns out I did not follow the instructions correctly. I was supposed to bake it with the sauce. But hopefully it'll be good either way. The rice is done. The consistency is pretty good. Um, I definitely like the tenders more, but this is pretty good. Like, it tastes good. I just wish they were thicker. I got our buttercream frosting that we've been storing and I melted it a little and I'm kind of mixing it so it's a little softer and then I'm going to frost the cake once it's cool. Okay, she's all frosted. I'm going to add some sprinkles. 